Hey y'all, Joe here with Southern Coastal Cooking. Tonight, I got some stuff I want to talk to you about. For one, um, you've seen me, I've been doing my videos with the uh, the grilled on. Love that cooker. Really good for low and slow and high heat sear. And also, I've had some people ask me about, oh man, what about the Yoda? What about the pellet cooker? Are you going, are you done with that? Heck no, I'm not done with it. I love my Yoda. Love my pellet cooker. It's always going to be my go-to kind of heart and soul of cooking, but... Uh, I just want to try new stuff, you know what I'm saying? Uh, can't call yourself a true, uh, you know, barbecue guru or anything like that. Not that I am barbecue guru, but I'm just saying, uh, you know, someone who can can really, really cook without, you know, trying out different pits and, and, and different styles of cookers. You know, I've cooked on everything from a, a you know, remember I started out in a Weber kettle and, and, you know, just went from there. Just all different kind of things. I had my old master built at one time. so. My next step here that I want to try out, uh, I want to try one of these barrel style cookers. And this here is the Barrel House Vertical Cooker. You know, basically what this guy is, is like a barrel shaped cooker. And you've seen several, there's several versions of this kind of a cooker on the market today, I believe. Uh, basically come from the concept of, I think like an ugly drum smoker or something like that. But anyway, uh, what's unique about this one, it's a little thinner than most, but it gives a little bit more vertical space where you can hang ribs and stuff like that without having to cut them in half or worry about the bottom getting burnt. Also with this guy, let me show you, it unclips down to the bottom. This bottom section unclips to where you can actually lift this piece off, okay, and uh, show you down here and tend to the fire. Now this, this is really heavy, this section here. And this is heavy built, but uh, I mean, see here, you've got your grill grates and all that stuff. So actually what you could do is uh, you've got a bunch of sessions. I'll go over those a little bit later. But for instance, let's see. You got one of these grills. Let me show you. You could set a grill directly over this, like this here. And you can do you a uh, hibachi style, just almost on the coals, grilling if you wanted to. But it also makes it easier for you changing out, uh, you know, cleaning out your firebox, stuff like that. Since this thing will roll, I think about you know, eight hours or so, on just six six pounds of briquettes, so it's pretty efficient. Uh, pretty thick sides on it. This is the uh, the deluxe model here, so. Heavy. It's also got, let me show you here, get this back put together. Flip that. And the deluxe ball here, it's got the hinges on the top, okay? So this actually opens on the hinge, and you can't see it, but there's a, the thermometer up here. But that's really cool to have that hinge right there, and uh, you've got your lid on there. It, um, it comes with an accessory kit. Well, an available accessory kit doesn't necessarily come with it that you that you can get and uh, the accessory kit has stuff like let me show you this small Weber charcoal starter which uh, you know like a smaller version of your normal charcoal chimney but this will be perfect for putting your coals in there because it doesn't take too much right it also can it also with that accessory kit it has the pizza grill. Okay, so you can put this in there. It's actually unfolds. You can make a pizza. Awesome. Um, it had a, of course, this little grill glove here. They call it the pit mitt. That's pretty cool. This is a piece of, uh, this is for cooking fish and stuff like that. It's basically a wooden plank. You've heard of like, you know, cedar plank, uh, salmon or something like that. It's a reusable cedar plank. That you can put in. Had little halves here, basically little grill halves, so you can put these different levels in here and, and put stuff in a hot zone, cold zone type of configuration here. Also, it had a cover here, and this is an accessory kit as well, you know, just to keep this thing out of the rain, anything like that. Um, you know, a grill grate, I don't know where I set it. Let's get a grill grate over here, let me show you. This is the grill grate, you know, if you get some good searing on there. Uh, another cool thing 
This here is for hanging uh, drumsticks. All right, you slide them in there and just hang them right there and on the big bone it just hangs right down there. And uh, speaking of hanging, the, the initial idea with this bit and this cooker is uh, you hang this in there, I think, like this. All right, right up there in the top. And then what you do from that is you take these little hooks, all right? And you hang them down here off the bottom and you hang your pieces of meat on there. But you can also extend those hooks by that. What I mean is you can use more than one. Let me show you. You can take that. Put it down here if you want to hang something that's extra large or hang it lower or something like that. So, pretty cool. Um, you know, they, as far as temperature cooking, let me get to that. The guys at, at, at the barrel house cooker told me that uh, basically you're cooking a lot hotter than, not a lot hotter, but hotter than just your traditional low and slow toy. Traditionally in the Yoder or in the grill dome or something like that, I'd be going at maybe uh, 225, 250. Um, with this guy, you're cooking in the upper 200s to almost 300 degrees. So you're still, you know, you still put smoke uh, wood chips and stuff like that in the bottom and get your smoke, but you're actually doing more hot and fast methods. I'm interested in trying that, especially on brisket. I know, uh, you know, a lot of the pros, they use a hot and fast on brisket. And a lot of my friends and, and uh, fellow uh, pit masters out there that do competition or doing a lot of hot and fast ribs now, so I think this will be cool to try that out. But uh, I'm really excited about it. I, my idea was uh, just got in the the in its entirety today. I wanted to try it out uh, this weekend. Unfortunately, um, had a relative pass, and my, my aunt, great lady, but uh, she passed away and. We're going to be having funeral and stuff like that this weekend, so I won't have any videos for you guys this weekend that I know of. So um, do apologize for that, y'all. Please keep uh, keep the family in your prayers and everything. But uh, other than that, I mean, we're rocking and rolling. I can't wait to get started on the, on the barrel house cooking. You know, it's it seems. I mean, like I said, the sucker's heavily made and, and really cool. You know, and uh, I'm just admiring it here, like going over all the accessories and everything. But uh, and like I said, as far as my other cookers, y'all don't worry. They're still all hanging around. I'll get to back to them as well. But I want to spend some time with this and, and try this avenue of, uh, of smoking meats and, and grilling. So uh, I think it'll be cool. Thank y'all so much. Please uh, like my videos, uh, sub my channel, and God bless y'all. Thanks again, y'all. Stick around. Come back.